Hello friends, this video on sound part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So by now we know that sound is produced by vibration. So that is clear. Now the question is, how does sound propagate? What do we mean by propagate or propagation? The term propagate refers to spreading something. That means to spread or to get transmitted. So how exactly do you think that sound is getting transmitted from one place to another? Now, first of all, do you think that sound is getting transferred from one place to another? Just look at this example. When you talk to somebody, okay, so let us say you are in a conference room, you are in a meeting where some 10 people are seating, sitting there. Now, when one person speaks, all the other people are able to listen to it. So that means the sound produced by one person. Let us say this person is speaking. So the sound produced by this speaker is produced by the larynx of the speaker. But that means that this sound is traveling in some way so that it is able to reach the ears of the listeners. That is why they are able to hear it. That means sound is traveling in some way. So the question is, how does sound propagate? Now, it is not only that only when you are present nearby, you are able to hear each other. Sound is also able to trans, um, trans, get transmitted over long distances. For example, when an aeroplane is flying high in the sky, you are able to hear that noise of the aeroplane. Right. Similarly, if there is a train which is quite kilometers away from you, but still you are able to listen to the whistle of the train. So, have you noticed that these kind of sounds which are produced by one source is heard by quite a number of other people. That means it is able to get transmitted over distance. So now, the question is how is sound traveling from one place to another? So, sound always needs a medium for propagation. That means it needs some medium through which it can travel. Now, you might ask, now what is this medium? So, let us try to understand the meaning of medium. So, what it is trying to tell is, let us say, look at this scenario where these two person, they are talking to each other. So now, when this person speaks, the sound is actually getting transmitted up to this person. Similarly, when he speaks, the sound is getting transmitted till here. The question is, does sound need something to travel from person 1 to person 2? Yes, sound needs a medium. So let us see what is a medium. Now, first let me give you some example so that you know what is medium. Now, when you think of these vehicles on the road, you have a car or you have a bicycle, you have a scooter, you have a bike. So any sort of vehicle, how will the vehicle run? So where will you drive your car? You need a medium, right? So your car cannot fly in the sky. Your car needs a road. So it can only travel on road. So the road is the medium on which your car can travel. Now let us take the example of a ship or a boat. So do you think that uh, it can just fly on its own or it can on by itself, it can move from one place to another? No, it again needs a medium. So what is the medium for this boat or this ship to travel from one place to another? Medium is the water. So water is the medium here. If you think of an aeroplane, what is the medium for an aeroplane? Where can the aeroplane move from one place to another. It needs a medium and the medium is air. So now are you able to understand what is the meaning of medium? Medium means you can say it is like a base on which a particular object can move from one place to another. So in a very similar way like how you have the car or the aeroplane or the ship here. Similarly sound also wants to travel from one place to another and for that this also needs a medium. So what is the medium for sound? What kind of medium does a sound needs? It needs water, air, 
or what does it need? So, so that is what we will see here. So how can we define medium? Medium is nothing but an object through which sound is transmitted. So what could be this object? Now, this object can be a solid, the object can be a liquid, the object can even be gas. That means sound can travel through air, sound can travel through liquids like water, sound can also travel through solids like wood or metals, right? So, and all these objects through which sound gets transmitted, these objects are called as medium, right? Okay. So, as I said, the medium could be a solid, liquid or gas, but a medium is required. So, something has to be there. Now, you might ask, what do you mean by medium has to be there? So, obviously, everywhere there will be either air or water or some other substance. So, something will always be there. But that is not the case. We can even create uh, uh, an atmosphere or an environment where, which is completely empty, which doesn't even have air, nothing is there. And that is known as vacuum. So sound cannot travel in vacuum. So we will now quickly talk about vacuum as well. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.